Hey everyone, welcome to Deco Easy. It's Diane here, and today I'm going to participate in a challenge from Domestic Diva. Um, if you're new here, welcome to our channel. I'm Diane, and I host this channel together with my mother in law, Jenny. We live in the Netherlands, we love to decorate. And today I'm going to make a DIY. Um, make sure first you check out the channel of Domestic Diva, and she has a lot of beautiful videos. I'm going to make a DIY for Mother's Day. This here is the invite video. And you can see the rules here. Oh, I'm sure, open the comment section here. I'm going to make a Mother's Day DIY. There's no budget. And I'm going to make a painting. I find some inspiration on Pinterest. And next step, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Right. What I have in front of me here is an egg carton or an egg cup or I don't know how you call it I believe it's an egg carton um, and I'm going to make something for Mother's Day with this it is Mother's Day in just a few moments away and yeah in the Netherlands we are still well not in quarantine or total lockdown but we're sitting at home most of the time um, we're only going out for the groceries so yeah I have to do it with some at home stuff and an egg carton is something which I got at home um, what I'm going to make with this, I will tell you in a moment. What I'm going to use in this DIY video is upon the table because I'm going to make a painting for Mother's Day. Um, of course, you could also make it for Grandma or your auntie or an, uh, a, a friend or yeah, just whatever, a niece or anyone else who likes this idea of being creative. Um, your sister, don't forget your sister. Well, this is the stuff which I already had at home. I have this blanket here, just an old blanket which I always use when I'm going to paint something. I have a painting canvas, I have some white paint, Ooh. brushes, yellow paint, some blue, and in here there's pink paint. I'm not going to open it because I think there will be falling some piece of paint of the lid, so I keep it closed until the blanket is upon the table. Um, and I have different kind of brushes here. I always keep them in the same plastic cup, so I can keep them together. Every color is has another size, yeah, size brush. So I like the red one. There isn't very much red in here, and also the orange one. This one here, and I definitely don't like the blue one because there are still three blue ones in there. Right, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make some teacups out of this egg carton. How I'm going to do that, I saw this on Pinterest and I thought I can do that myself as well and I can't open this with one hand. Uh, keep getting stuck, yeah, there it is. I'm going to cut this piece off and then I'm going to cut just like this. Uh, I see how many I can get from one egg carton, otherwise I have to find myself another one because I still want them to be nice and round well on the back they can be flat of course don't see that I'm going to paint them, I'm going to paint this and I'm going to use some tea bags as well I'm going to uh, cut the tea bags off so you only have the top of the tea bag and then I'm going to glue it in here so you can see it hanging out of the cup of tea I think that's a nice idea. I think I can totally do that with the stuff I have at home. Um, just going to see how it turns out. Never did this before, so I'm really curious. If you have any questions, suggestions, or other things you'd like to say to us, write them down in the comment section below. Jenny and I take a look at it as quickly as possible. We hope you're all doing healthy, being healthy, and you're staying safe inside. Um, yeah, just start to get creative. I'll put a lamp on because I see that it's getting darker and darker. It's raining outside today, so the weather isn't really nice. But more reason to stay inside. Alright, so let's start decorating. So here we are. I just pulled out some tea bags. Yeah, I opened this one to see if there really was something which I could cut off. And there was. So just remove as much 
of the string as possible. Just going to clip it here near the tea bag that I can use again later on. And here I have the top of the tea bag. I'm going to do it with this one again. By the way, I love green tea. I love this Lipton tea. Really good scent and it tastes very well. Love to drink it in the evening because it isn't that heavy and I don't like heavy tea like Earl Grey or something else in the evening. Ta-da, there's number two. So going to put this away in the kitchen, make myself some tea tonight. And this is also new, so I'm going to remove the plastic and I want to do that on the back of the canvas because otherwise I'm afraid that they cut open the whole canvas part and then I can't use to paint it. And this always goes wrong. Let's do it in multiple cuts. This plastic is really tight. Uh, this is better. There you have it. One blank canvas for me. Going to put the trash away. And then I'm going to think how I want the background to be. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to paint that later. First, I also want to cut this, so I remove the top. I don't think I need it. There you go. Yeah, well. Just first, I'm trying one in the center to see if this can be cut open easily. There we go. Hope you can see it well. No, I have to do it here. Oh, there's no way back now. This egg carton is really weird, actually. It isn't plastic, it's made of grass fiber, I believe. Very sustainable eggs. Yeah, I think now it's still nice and round on both sides. So if I cut it open here in the center, oh, don't have to go, have to cut straight. Then we can use some more of the teacups. That's one. This is a weird thing here, pointy thing. Sharpest edges. Well, I think I cut this way too. This weird pointy thing up top. I'm not going to use that. Just throw it away. Do the same here as well. Then the last two. Start on this side, I think that's better, because this is the most difficult part to cut. All the way down, and then on the other side again. No, the scissors are stuck right now. Oh, stops the break. Now we have a clean break here this chip off as well and this one too so now we have teacups yeah I think these ones aren't suitable <laughs> look you have a teacup with a whole lot of it that's weird nah but what I can use them for it to mix the paint. Well, that's a good idea. As I said it myself, I can only use 
these two because these really look like cups this way. So just measure it. That are really, really small cups compared to the canvas. Maybe I, yeah, it'd be better to cut the canvas in half, but I don't know how it's going to survive. Decisions, decisions. Maybe I'll, I hope I have another egg carton. I'm going to take a look. Maybe there are still some eggs left and I'll, yeah, I'll take a look if I can reuse or actually use already another egg carton. Ta-da! I had one inside of the fridge with only several eggs in there, so I thought just remove it. Store the eggs in the door of the fridge. Normally don't do that, but now I will. Because I need these two here on the edge to make some more teacups off. Never thought of reusing this stuff to mix the paint or to keep the paint in. I always use plastic cups actually <laughs> for a jump idea, but now I have a more sustainable alternative. Just reuse your egg carton. I hope, by the way, that I'm saying the thing right. It's not that this thing doesn't have a real weird name, which I totally pronounced it wrong or something. If I do, please just tell me and I can do it better next time. So, uh, yeah, there's one really large cup. I'm going to put that away. Let's see how I can fight these teacups. So I have a tea party painting with. Yeah, I think I do something like this. Well, it's a shame that I only have two of these actually. But hey, I think they look cute. One on top and one here at the bottom. Yeah, of course I have to glue them to the canvas, but we're going to do that later. First, we have to paint everything. And then it has to dry, but I think especially these ones have to dry pretty long. I'm going to clean the mess and then I'm going to make the egg part ready for the paint job. So, time for the paint job. Um, I think I'll take the largest brush, the red one, because then I get the job done in the quickest way. Well, I think I have to stir this paint before. I can use it because I haven't. Oh, yeah, I definitely have to stir this. Mm. It's been quite a while since I opened this up, I believe. Some weird layer on top. This looks like some kind of strawberry pudding, but then gross.
Now, while the paint is drying, I want to cut the teacups, but before I do the final ones, I want to check how I have to cut. I will use just a small part. Um, do they have a weird shape or are they just nice and oval? No, they aren't. Let me see. Hmm. They aren't nice and round, so just try to cut through the center. I have six pots to try it with. I have to be very careful. This can easily break. Just like that. It's here in the bottom. It's in where it thick. Black or something. Yeah, it's always starting to break. Well. I think that looks kind of cute. Just try it on the table. Yeah. Well, another one just to make sure I do everything right. Oh. No, it's the same thing, I believe. Yeah. Yeah. Thought there was a little difference on the bottom, but there wasn't. Yeah, this one has a more nice and even clean cut. Right, I think this will have to work. I think I just cut until here. You can see it well, until this part here. So everything else is going to cut away. Just give it a try. Do a bit more from the edge first because I really am afraid to ruin the whole thing. I have to cut with the other hand on this part. All the way up there. Almost broke it. Hmm. Does it stay in place? Yeah, it does. I'm going to cut this part away as well because it looks weird on a teacup. That isn't a nice and round edge. This is how it's going to look. I hope it will stay in place. I think it does. Can't see weird things happening. Alright. Um, this one's done here. Three more to go. I'm going to do the same thing again. Just carefully cut. Here till the center, and then I'm going to switch hands. There it goes. Just test it by putting it on the table and see if it is nice and steady, which is true. So, I'm going to trim the edges as well. It's a bit like nail clipping for some reason. This is good. This is good as well. Move on to the next one.
Now, the last thing. Ooh. Some weird stuff. Breaks up quickly. Really have to be careful doing this. Otherwise, I think it might shred apart easily. There we go. Just some trimming on the edges. Now there's blue stuff here all over the place, but I don't mind. I'm going to th throw it away. How does this stay in place? Does it even stay in place? Not almost. Except for this one. Why is that? I think it just needs some extra glue or... No, I see it here. Is it? sharp edge it has to be removed well better now right i'm going to clean my workspace because i don't want any blue flakes to mix up with red color of paint and i'll move back with you to show you the next steps so back again for the paint job of the teacups um what is nice with Yellow, I think, or actually pink, I think yellow is good, and I also like some blue paint. Um, yeah, first let's do the blue one. Oh, no, I want the yellow one first. I hope this is still good. Yeah, I haven't touched it in a while, to be honest. Oh, that smells, whoa. Um... Kind of brush. No, just use the yellow from the yellow paint. Right, here starts the fine artwork. Oh, this stuff is more thick than the pink paint. Um, where do I want to start? Well, just do the inside first. First, paint the cups on the inside and then I'll let them dry so I can do the outside part. I think this was a good choice of the brush because it's so small I can easily paint the small edges. Right, that's inside of number one. Um, yeah, I want two different kinds. Just this one. Yep, I had a dead battery again. Sorry for that. Um, in the meantime, I have painted the rest of the cups. This here is almost dry, uh, now these have to dry, and yeah, then I will be doing the rest of the painting when it's dry again. Just have to wait a moment now. I didn't mention or uh, uh, mind actually that the camera went off because I was so concentrated about the painting that I didn't even notice that it got off. So when I was done I looked up and I was, hey, where's the camera?
So just sort of wait till all the paint is dry and then we start or actually continue with the rest of the painting. So everything is nice and dry. I'm going to try to glue it to the canvas. Um, oh, I don't know where that came from. Piece of plastic. Hmm. Let me see. Uh, I think I put this one on top. I'm going to hold it here for a couple of seconds. I think now it is. Yeah, it sticks. All right, number two. just let it dry for a couple of hours and then I have to paint the ear of the cup and then I can also where are my two bags oh here they are just glue two of these I think I glued them to here to the darker ones because you see them better on the blue than on the yellow just like so or something I think that looks kind of cute. Just like so. I have to wait. Glue has to dry for at least two hours, I believe. Yeah, well. Make it a bit longer just to be sure. And I'll be back with you when everything is nice and dry and we're ready to paint the ears of the cups and finish everything off. 
Good morning everyone. Time to finish the painting for Mother's Day. Um, I've been thinking, I don't think I want to put only this in here because you can see the back of the egg carton and I don't like that so I think I'll just put a whole tea bag inside of the cups. I think that looks much better and also smells very good. So I'm going to finish it off that way but first we have to draw or paint actually the ears of the cups. Just like so. And I want to do the same thing on the other side. I think I want to turn that ear on the inside. One ear is bigger than the other, but <laughs> don't mind. Hmm. I don't think that was going to work. Can't reach it properly. Hmm. Should like this then? Hold on. And then just need to finish it up with some tea bags. And then the painting is done. This is just ordinary black tea. Maybe I need to use glue to glue everything in the right place before it touches the wet paint.
I think this is a nice position to glue everything together. First let it dry and then after everything is dry I will show you the final result of the painting. And here we are with the final result. As I see right now I think, oh it's also funny in the kitchen, don't have to make it especially for Mother's Day, but the original Pinterest idea was for Mother's Day. Glue is dry, tea bags are glued. Look, very cute. This is how it looks on top. Now it covers the ugly back of the egg carton. So they really look like cups right now. Well, that was it for today. I hope you had fun watching this video. If you did, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and Jenny and I hope to see you all back in good health with our next video. Take care of yourself. See you next time. Bye!